When we're assessing Tmax to determine the probability of an acute coronary syndrome in someone who has chest pain or discomfort, one of the strongest predictors is whether the patient looks sweaty. So what do we mean by that and why is it in there? So we, we call this sweating observed initially. That means that you have seen the patient sweating or looking clammy. So it's visible sweating that you can actually observe. The patient may report sweating with the pain or discomfort, but if they're not visibly sweating, then they don't, uh, don't count for having this particular factor. And there's an important reason for that. And that relates to how predictive this feature is. And our research showed this, but plenty of other research has found similar things when they look at this as a predictor. Interestingly, visible sweating was the only feature that relates to the patient's physical examination. Nothing else was in Tmax because nothing else predicted the likelihood of a myocardial infarction quite the same. So if we think about the baseline probability of myocardial infarction in this group of patients, it's 18 or 19%. If the patient looks visibly sweaty, that shoots up to a massive 59%. So, I mean, they may not be sweating buckets, they may just look really clammy to you, uh, but it's the visible appearance of sweating that makes the difference. If the patient only reported sweating, it hardly changes that probability at all. But visible sweating is a really important positive predictor. So that's why it's in Tmax, and that's why it's important to score for.